New reports have emerged that Tesla is already working on hardware 5.0. So new Teslas now, they're just about Model S, Model X, they have hardware 4.0, which is Tesla's new computer. And also it's connected to Tesla's new video cameras, which are much, much better than the old system. The new hardware 4.0, which has just come out, is said to be basically industry leading. It's going into the new Tesla Model 3, new Tesla Model Y is probably by the end of the year. However, incredibly, Tesla are already working on the next generation, hardware 5.0. What's hardware 5.0? Here's what we know so far. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Sam Evans, and I'm coming to you from Australia. Just want to say a big thank you to all the new subscribers. Great to have you all. Big thank you to all of our current subscribers. Great to have you all as well. Tesla's 4.0. Now, Elon Musk is clearly very hopeful that it's going to be good enough by the end of the year to enable Tesla's cars that use it to be able to fully drive themselves. That's what he hopes will happen. He said he thinks that that will happen. Do I think it will happen? Uh, if I had to, if I had to give a response to that, I would say no. However, I would say I do think hardware 5.0 will do the job. I think it will bring Tesla's electric cars, the ability to fully drive themselves under all conditions. I do think Tesla is on the right track. I think their system makes sense. What do I mean by that? I think the concept of training a small child, the neural network, Tesla's neural network, it starts off as a small child, it starts off as a baby, then it becomes a toddler, then it becomes an adolescent, eventually a teenager, eventually an adult, and learns how to drive. If you think about it, Tesla's cameras, it's like having cameras in the back of a human head. It's like having cameras back here, back here, and having a camera up here, having a camera here, here, and here. There's no blind spots. It's gonna be much, much safer than a human driver. So when are we gonna get the hardware 5.0? When will it be released, revealed? Well, I've got no idea, but I do know that Tesla is working on a new chip with Samsung. It's a four nanometer chip, and it's said to be a super powerful and incredibly efficient chip, which will achieve full self-driving and consumer vehicles without additional hardware, like in custom-built autonomous vehicles operated by Waymo and Cruise. Now, when I say I think Tesla's system is a good idea, I don't really think you can argue that it isn't, because the alternative is the Waymo and Cruise idea, which just doesn't work. It doesn't It doesn't work on a big scale. It works for a taxi network in a city. Yeah, absolutely. It can work in that situation. But it doesn't work because you need to have something that learns, something that learns from all other cars at once. That's the whole idea of having a neural network. It can learn from millions of other cars that are alive, right? Eventually, that will happen. You won't need necessarily to have a group of people identifying different things. Tesla's software will eventually learn from itself. That's the end goal. Waymo and Cruise, their system of being geofenced, right? Basically, their system of, of self-driving means it relies completely on maps. And if it doesn't have a high-definition map that is correct, if something's changed, the car doesn't really know what to do. And it can't drive outside of that high-definition map area. Meaning, I mean, you couldn't possibly have, say, a Google or Waymo vehicle autonomously drive from one city to another unless you have high definition maps which have been upgraded within a very short period of time it just doesn't work for all cars plus you need uh, some pretty expensive equipment built into the car now i know those prices of that equipment are coming down but it's still a concept in my opinion that doesn't really make sense it does like i said for say uber waymo and GM Cruise, their taxi network, but not for the everyday person who wants a car with the ability to drive trace from California to Miami. I don't see geofenced networks as being the solution to that kind of a road trip scenario. So last year, Tesla started building cars. Well, really officially they were sold this year with hardware 4.0 self-driving hardware. It has Obviously, it's not just the chips that are an improvement. They are an improvement of the previous generation, but it's also the entire system. There's an additional camera. There's camera resolutions have tripled. Much, much better system in total. Hardware 4.0 is clearly going to be a huge step up. But hardware 5.0, well, I don't know what that's about, how fast, how good it's going to be. But I think it will be 
an incredible step up. The reason I say this is because it will be working in conjunction with Tesla's new Dojo supercomputer. The Dojo supercomputer will assist the child, which is Tesla's neural network, which is now sort of a teenager who's learning to drive essentially, to become the adult. Dojo in combination with Hardware 5, in my opinion, my prediction, and I'm going to go out and make it right now, is Tesla's definitive answer to full self-driving. And I do believe that it will get a, an approval in North America, Canada, the United States, Mexico, etc. When does it come out though? Well, I have no idea when it's coming out. But here's one thing I want to say. Driving a car, it's dangerous. It's the most dangerous thing you'll ever do in your life. Even it's more dangerous than skydiving. If you think about the percentage of people who die when they skydive, it's minuscule, incredibly minuscule, much, much higher chance of dying simply by getting in your car and driving somewhere, going on a road trip. That is the one of the greatest problems in the world right now. Millions of people die every year from car accidents. Eventually, all cars will have the ability to avoid accidents. We won't eliminate deaths completely, but we'll eliminate them by at least 90%. This is part of that elimination of the risk factor you're getting in your car and someone killing you. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Thank you for watching.